What is controlled airspace versus uncontrolled airspace for drone pilots? So controlled airspace is, so controlled airspace is uh, airspace where air traffic control provides separations or, or they provide services to manned aircraft pilots. And one of those services can be separation services. So this is going to be helpful for manned aircraft pilots who are up, they're flying around, they might be flying around in low visibility. Um, and they, uh, air traffic control can, can help them uh, know where there's other aircraft in the sky. Same with around airports. So there's a lot of traffic around airports because you have airplanes taking off and landing. Um, and so air traffic control can provide some services there to help keep the flow of traffic going and provide those separation services of that aircraft. So whether they're helicopters, um, they're airplanes, whatever, whatever, whatever they may be flying there. So the level of service is going to depend on the class of airspace. So class Bravo airspace, these are, this is massive airspace around uh, large metropolitan areas throughout the United States. Um, they're going to have way more services for pilots than, uh, you know, a class Delta airport where there's, you know, there's a control tower. Um, the air traffic controller can provide, uh, could potentially provide some radar services, not always, um, but they could, um, but they're really helping to guide the traffic in and out of the airport um, safely. So, um, so controlled airspace is airspace where you get services from an air traffic controller, you're speaking to them on the radio, um, and they're providing you some support as you're flying around. And then there's uncontrolled airspace, which is essentially where air traffic control services are not provided. So this is going to be airspace um, that, you know, class Gulf airspace where um, you're up, you're, you're doing your own navigation, you're doing your own thing, um, and, and, but air traffic control is not providing you any sort of services with helping to know where other pilots are, other aircraft are, um, other things that might be going on. Um, that kind of stuff. So uncontrolled airspace is just that. It's not controlled. You're not uh, receiving services from air traffic control. So again, there is a there is a distinction between a controlled airport and a uncontrolled airport, or I'm sorry, controlled airspace and uncontrolled airspace, and then a towered airport and a non-towered airport. So there are several airports in the country that are uh, they're non-towered, so there's not an air traffic control tower there, but they're in controlled airspace, okay? So that means you as a drone pilot would need to have authorization to fly at that airport, okay? So what I want you to understand is that if you live near an airport and there is no control tower there, don't assume that it's in uncontrolled airspace, um, simply because of the fact it could be one of those airports that are in controlled airspace. So you want to make sure that you are, you know, looking at a sectional chart, you're using the Before You Fly app or the Kitty Hawk app to determine what kind of airspace that airport is in to see if you need that authorization. So really, you know, having that solid understanding of airspace and how to read all of the charts, all the apps, all the information that's out there for you is really going to help you to know if the flight that you want to take with your drone is going to be in controlled airspace or uncontrolled airspace. And then you can put that all together to help fig help you figure out what's the best way to go about this, what's the safest way to go about your flight, and then how to get that authorization um, if you need one in that controlled airspace.